Hello everyone, this is Ashley at the Speedway Public Library, and today we are going to be turning paper towel rolls into paper gnomes. So now the first thing we're going to need is our paper towel roll. You can use a paper towel roll, toilet paper roll, you know, anything that works. Uh, this one is a kind of a thin one that works too, or you can have one of the thicker ones, doesn't matter. And the first thing you're going to want to do is cut it into the length that you want. So as you can see, I'm making just kind of a, a smaller gnome, it's about the size of my hand, but you can also make it you know, taller if you use a taller paper towel roll, um, or you can even make it smaller if you want. Um, you could also cut lengthwise on here and push it tighter together to even make it skinnier or smaller. Completely up to you. The other thing we're going to need, we're also going to be needing scissors. We're going to need marker, either tape or glue, that's completely up to you, some construction paper, and if you don't have construction paper in the skin tone that you want for the gnome, some colored pencils for that. So once we've cut our paper towel roll to the size that we want, we then need to choose the color for the outfit. So since it's on top, I'm just going to go ahead and use this orange, and using either your marker or one of your colored pencils, you're going to mark on that paper where that paper towel roll ends. That way you know kind of where to cut. That way you don't have to kind of cut excess off. So you're just going to mark again. And they don't have to be perfect marks. And then we're going to cut that out. We don't need the full length of the paper. Probably just, you know, three-fourths will probably be enough. And then we'll cut that off. And then we are going to wrap that around our paper towel roll. Like I said, I'm just using tape, but you are more than welcome to use glue as well. You can wrap it around and make sure we tape or glue the end. All right, once we have our paper towel roll covered in our outfit, the next thing we need is a face. So for a face, like I said, if you have construction paper that's the skin tone that you want for a face, go ahead and use that. Um, I don't, so I'm going to just color this piece of paper. Oops, sorry if the camera's a little shaky. Coloring's making the tripod shake a little. And then we are going to cut this out into like a U shape. So about twice the size of your thumb, about that big. And then kind of look where that seam is and you want to go exactly opposite. And that is where we are going to, again, either glue or tape our face on. Once we have that face on there, we are going to go ahead and draw our eyes and nose. So just doot, doot. Boom, 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 boom. Got our eyes and our nose. And then next comes the beard. So for the beard, you're, you are going to need a white piece of construction paper. And you are going to cut it into like a really big, you know, closed horseshoe. And then if you line it up a little bit with your face, you can make little marks so that you know where that face is going to be. You want a little bit of sideburns, and then it's going to also come up to about right here so that you can put that mouth on the beard itself. So here I have little marks, and I'm just going to and draw inward like this and cut that out. All right, and if we put it over, you can see we got, we'll have the sideburns 
and then also the beard will come out. Now, my beard is a little too big, so I need to trim that. I'm going to go ahead and make that a little shorter. All right, and then we are going to add a little bit of fringe to the beard. So for in the example, you see we kind of did this just so it gives it a little bit more dimension. So we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and just kind of make kind of halfway cuts. We don't want to go all the way you know, to the top, but we just want to make little cuts. And I would make those cuts shorter as you go around. So put them around here and then kind of go the other way. And we just keep going around and around. All right. Okay, so now that we have our fringed beard here, you can either leave it as is or you kind of take your fingers along the edges. It'll kind of bring some of those out. And just, again, makes it a little bit more dimensional. There we go. And then we are going to line that up on our face here. You want it to end up right under right under that nose. And again, either tape or glue it to our paper towel roll. And there is our gnome with a beard. So last thing we, or two more things we need to do, sorry. First is give him a little mouth. A little mouth there. And then we need to make his hat. Now for the hat, if we are just going to be doing a simple cone shape. And again, you can choose whatever color you'd like. Since I have it on hand, I'm going to go ahead and just choose pink. Um, you're going to want to cut out a circle. And then um, because we're making one that's so small, we're actually only going to be using about half the circle. If you're using a bigger paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll, um, you might want to just cut out a quarter here and just use three quarters of it. But again, like I said, I just need about half of it. And then I'm going to take it and roll it into the cone shape. And then just kind of test it to see you know, if that's the right size. That, yep, looks about right. And then I'm going to close it off. And then we have a little hat for him. And then, oh, mine actually might need trim just a little here. There we go. And then I'm just going to use a little piece of tape on the back side and put that on him. And then if it pops up, again, if you're using glue, glue will be a little bit easier. But I'm going to put it down on the inside of the, the roll and then put that, oops, if I can get it to stay, put that hat on top and then just kind of pinch a little so that it's holding it. And there we go. You have a little paper gnome. Um, some different ways you can change this up is, of course, use different colors. Um, you can make it more of a curvy beard by cutting out little curved shapes. Um, you could also give him a little belt, make the you know beard bigger or shorter. Um, you could also even use yarn and put little pieces of yarn around and make it a yarn beard. So lots of different ways you can customize it, but that is how you make a paper gnome out of a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. All right, thanks for joining us. Catch us next week for another craft video.